Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm back with another process video. I'm using one of my stash kits this time and if you would like to find out what's in that stash kit you can go, um, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel that says stash kits and there I show you what I used and I also include the videos that I make with those stash kits as well. So I'm using this photo of my daughter um, in the pool. She is just kind of floating on her back and I love this photo because we were at um, my mom's pool at her um, townhouse and we were the only ones at the pool that day and um, just my daughter and my niece and um, Malia, that's my daughter, she just, Amari got out of the pool for a little bit so Malia was the only one in the pool and she just was floating on her back and just kind of doing a little backstroke and just singing Let It Go at the top of her lungs like no one was there and it was the cutest thing ever. And so um, I just wanted to make sure I scrapbooked that moment because it was hilarious and adorable and I loved it. So I am using some papers that the paper I'm using for my base is from the Close Knit Collection from Crate Paper. I love those um, circular papers like that. I've done a similar layout to the one I'm going to do today um, with a few different photos in the past. And then those tags are from a Dear Lizzie collection. Um, I can't remember exactly which one it's from. but And then the blue paper that I mounted my photo with is from the Nautical Collection by... Oh, fancy pants. And then I'm just pulling some stuff out of my, um, or I was just looking through some stuff in my kit. And then I decided to go and grab some thickers. I'm going to spell out Let It Go. That's going to be my title because that's the song that she was singing at the top of her lugs, lungs. And I also kind of wanted to play off the fact that, you know, she just kind of also let it go in that she didn't care who was watching or what was going on. She just let it go and sang at the top of her lungs. And sometimes I wish that as an adult I could do that. Uh, not necessarily sing at the top of my lungs, but let go of those things that hold me back from doing things that I love. Anyway, I am going to play off the circular elements here and um, positioning my title on um, one of the curves. And I wanted to balance it on the bottom, so I put the date, 2014, to kind of balance it on the bottom. And I'll end up changing that, but it stays for now. And then I wanted to bring just a little bit of pink in because she's got a pink swimming suit on. And so I decided to tuck those Dear Lizzie tags behind the photo. And I am looking for some other things that I can add. These are some brads from My Mind's Eye Now and Then collection. And I am thinking I'm going to put those pink ones just kind of as um, end caps on the title. And then these stickers are from Basic Gray's Hey You collection, which I think might have been exclusive to Joann's. Maybe not. Um, anyway, I got them at Joann's. But... I'm just looking through those to see what I can add, and I pulled out a few. And then I'm also looking through some Teresa Collins uh, die cuts to see if I might want to use any of those. And I pulled out just that Dream Big. And then I'm also looking through my sticker sheets. I remembered on that Market Street um, sticker sheet by My Mind's Eye that I had a second ago that it said just keep swimming on it. So I was looking for that, but I forgot and I had used it already. So. I'm looking through this little uh, um, jar of things is just random stuff that I pulled out for a layout and didn't use, so I just stuck it in this little um, container next to my desk. And so I'm just kind of flipping through all of the little bits in that little container and seeing if there's anything that might work on this layout. And I did pull some things out, but I don't think I end up using most of them. I'm keeping this layout super simple, and it only took me about 40 minutes to create, which is amazing for me. <coughs> I did find uh, a sticker that says, let's go swimming, but I end up not using it. The black was just a little too heavy. So now I'm flipping through some of my other like label stickers that I have. 
And something that I miss about using kits is just kind of flipping through everything in my stash. It takes forever, but it's something that I really enjoy. So when I use my stash kits, I use what's in them, but then I also allow myself to um, just look through the rest of my stash. Since it's a stash kit anyway, anything in my stash could have been in the kit. So <laughs> I just allow myself to look through my other things. But I didn't find anything that I wanted to use. So that's kind of when I decide, you know what, this layout's going to be super simple. I'm going to make it easy on myself. And sometimes simple is best. And just let the photo stand out. I, I just really loved this photo. So I'm cutting off the bottoms of those tags because I don't need them. And I could use them again for something else. And then I'm just going to layer them behind the photo. But first I'm going to put some string, some crochet twine, in through the holes there. And that's just some um, crochet thread that I've had for a long time. You can get that at any craft store. It's super inexpensive, and I love it. So just tucking those in. And then I'm going to change my mind about the pink brads and I'm going to go for some teal ones. I decided I just wanted a little hint of pink and those those pink brads were really bright and I just didn't I wasn't feeling it. <coughs> so now I'm going to arrange these letters and I'm going with one of the circles that's closest to the photo because the title is sort of short and so I just want it to be near to the photo and I'm using those that um, circular line to to place it and then I'm going to put down 2014 on the bottom and I'm kind of I centered the photo so I'm using the same line that I used on the top title for the bottom and then I decided I had found that there's a little label that says date and place and so I thought why would I put 2014 if I'm going to put the date right below it so I decided to just put uh, my daughter's name instead of the date and really I I don't often put her name on the layout big like this but I just wanted to balance the title so it kind of says let it go Malia which is fine and then I'm just going to play around with some of the bits that I pulled out to see if they're going to work for me. That little circle with the arrow on it, that it's just not quite right. And I will find a way to make it fit to be what I need in a minute here. I just cut off a piece of that tag to see if I wanted to tuck something. I felt like I needed something pink in that little area. And those just aren't working for me. And in just a second here, you'll see that I'm going to cut out the words love this from the tag and I'm going to use that as an embellishment and I did love it so it works as far as wording goes and then that little arrow is just a stamp from close to my heart that I had just in my bin of stuff and I'm going to staple it to the left of love this and kind of make it pointing into toward um, my daughter in the photo and I really like the way that that looks. Oh, there you can see <laughs> I ran out of my little foam squares, and that little bin that I pulled down was where I keep all of my extras. So I have um, tons of extra foam ad adhesive squares. I have um, an extra bottle of Heidi Swap Gold Mist and some other things, some um, paper trimmer blades and stuff like that. So I'm just using my poker tool to poke holes for the brads. And again, I'm letting those circular lines guide me so that I can get things nice and even. I love the back of that paper as well. But the circular calls my name more than that wood grain um, in different colors. So. so there is the title and the brads are in. So I'm just going to, I'm, I put the love this die cut or whatever on um, uh, foam squares to pop it up a little bit and then I am going to take the sticky off of the back of this sticker so I can make sure that that's really what I want below the word Malia and this is kind of a different aqua color than anything else that's on the layout and so I'm going to look for a way to bring in that color a little bit more 
I found this little label that says today and I'm going to just tuck it in by the tags. It's hard to tell in the video but the colors really were different because in the video it looks like that today is just the same. And then that little arrow sticker that I just put at the top it has those same that same aqua color almost. Um, it's not quite right though. I don't like the way the pink looks. I like that it brings a third shade, I mean a third place where there's a bit of pink, but the pink's just not quite the right color. So in a minute I am going to alter that little circle. I'm going to stamp the date first and then for location, rather than writing the actual location, I'm going to use a roller date stamp, and I think I end up going with a Dear Lizzie one. Uh, and where it says location, I'm going to stamp Happy Place. And I'm using a Prima Chalk ink in Old Road for that. And then I will go ahead and adhere that down in just a minute. I think I'm going to, yeah, I pulled out my Copic markers to see if I could change the color of that arrow a bit to make it a little, match a little bit better, the colors. Um, and so I pulled up this bright pink, and then I colored a little bit of blue on the arrow, and that blue wasn't quite right, and so I am going to pull out a really old marker that I have from close to my heart in Juniper. Uh, they have alcohol markers now, but this is one of their old regular kind of markers. And I'm happy with the way that that looks. So I stick it up at the top, and then I put my date down, and then I'm going to do my journaling. So again, playing off the circular elements, I just found one of the lines that was empty, and I'm going to write my journaling in within that line. And it's nice because it makes it sure that I keep my journaling straight and um, and then it's all, and it works into the design. Sometimes I find that the journaling kind of takes away from my design at the end, and so I love it when I can work the journaling into the design of the layout. And I'm just writing about how I caught my daughter singing Let It Go at the top of her lungs when she was the only one at the pool and how cute it was. And then also what I was saying about how sometimes I wish I could just let things go like that and, and just do things that I love without worrying about being judged. And then I went to my sewing machine and I stitched a few of the pieces down. And I'm just going to pull those threads through onto the back and tape them down. Rather than leaving any hanging threads on the front, I'm just pulling them through to the back. And I'm just using some washi tape to get those taped down. And then I'll trim off the excess little pieces. And I did also put washi tape on the back of the brads just so it doesn't catch when I slide it into the page protector. And that is going to complete the layout. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you continue to watch. And if you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And I will see you again soon with another process video. Thanks for watching.